We got a lot of gear videos to do, but we're going to hold off until tomorrow to even start those. There's American DJ stuff, there's RCF stuff, I know you guys are waiting for it. Please be patient. I'm going to try to get some of those knocked out tomorrow. And in this week, because Monday the 15th, I fly out to LA for the NAM show and I'll be gone for two weeks. So I want to get some video up before I leave. The reason I'm not shooting video tonight is because I'm very stiff on my, my right side. It really took a toll on me at that wedding show yesterday. I took a hot bath, kind of cooled out a little bit. But I guess I realized I have some serious limitations when it comes to some of these bright I'll expose. Which is odd when you think about the physical part of it because I've done uh, DJ Expo in Atlantic City, I've done BPM, I've done the ADGA show, and I'm getting ready to do NAM and I'm not even worried about it. Why would this Bridal Expo beat me up so much? Well, I think part of the reason is I was trying very hard to stand normally with my shoulder back because it does droop. And then I was trying to walk right I was standing the whole time. I don't know how many hours I was standing up. I wasn't there all day, but I was there most of the day. I probably got there around 11 and left around 4. It's like 5 hours. But I stand when I gig, and that's not a problem. But I'm behind a booth, and people understand that I have limitations now. So if I have to lean every once in a while or, or whatever, nobody's holding it against me. But I felt compelled to stand for several reasons. I was going to sit. I had a chair kind of back there to sit, but I didn't feel like I could. Uh, part of the reason was I wanted to make a good impression on anybody who would approach me. The other reason was because, well, you know I do this with an agent. And there are several different DJs who work with this agent, or I guess I should say the agent represents. And a lot of them were in the booth. There, were, there was a guy I didn't even know who he was. And then, you know, there are some guys in there who used to be in bands, but that didn't work out, so they DJ. Wavy Davey was there, and, and Wavy's awesome. You guys know Wavy. He's a fantastic DJ, and he's a gentleman. But I had a hard time physically competing with some of these other people who aren't necessarily who I would consider my, my uh, I guess, friends in the business. I know them. They know me, but and there's no animosity. It's just that we don't have a dialogue and, and there's no there's no camaraderie there, I guess. One guy in particular was so aggressive. I mean, he talked to most of the people who came anywhere near the booth. And he was a big guy. He was a big dude. And, and he'd jump right out in front of you. There were several times where someone would be approaching me. We'd, we'd made eye contact. And this guy was jumping right in front of him. Hey, how you doing? You need a DJ? Uh... So I didn't really have much of an opportunity. I probably talked to three people the whole day. So I guess if I do a bridal show like this again, I don't need to be in a booth with eight other DJs. It just doesn't need to happen. I need to be in a booth with like maybe three or four other DJs. And I need to be in a booth with some people with, quite frankly, some professional courtesy. I'm not saying that this particular person I'm talking about isn't courteous. I don't even think this person is aware of what they were doing. If it's a physical competition, quite frankly, guys, I'm going to lose. I can't win the physical competition anymore. If it's a matter of speaking to people who approach me, I've got a good chance, just like I always had. But yeah, the physical competition, I'm afraid those days are over for a while. You know, one thing that was real awkward, and I'm going to have to try to figure out a good way to deal with it, when you initially meet somebody or when they approach you or you approach them, the proper greeting is a handshake. Now, I was the first guy to extend my hand for a handshake, and I felt like I did a pretty good job of it. Not too firm, not too soft, just, just a good handshake. And you shake with the right, and this is my right hand right now. I mean, I have a right hand, and it kind of works, but it's not handshake material yet. So when people extend their hand to me, I panic a little bit, but I keep a smile on my face and I come at them with my left. So they're sitting there right, I'm grabbing it with my left. And when I'm saying hello, hi, nice to meet you, they're not saying that with a smile on their face back to me. They're giving me a strange look. They're trying to figure out why I just did that. And I don't know if that's a negative thing or not, but it's not a great first impression, I don't think. And I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know if they're thinking, dude, don't you know people shape with their right? Or if they're thinking, there's something physically wrong with this guy. What is it? But I feel compelled 
to come back immediately and say, look, I apologize. Uh, my right hand isn't working right now. I had a stroke back in April, so you know that's why I did that. And then you get, oh, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry you didn't do it? I, I, it's just, I don't like it. I don't know how to deal with it. It's new stuff to me. It's still very new. So, I don't know. Hopefully we'll do better next time. Try something different. That's it. Just a whinge. And I apologize for the whinge, but I just wanted to get this video out. We'll do gear videos, like I said, starting tomorrow through, I guess, Sunday. And then Monday we fly off to L.A. And if you're going to be at NAMM, I'll see you there. Practice and enjoy.